Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Hazard, Kentucky. I hope uh, everybody's enjoying the evening. I hope you're looking for baseball. We're getting started up here on the hill. Hazard campus. This is Chuck Price. I'm going to have Seth Holland helping me here in a few minutes. We're just getting ready to bring the game to you. So everybody sit back, get you something to eat, drink, and get ready to have some fun. Isaac Bellamy's 2-0 already. 2-0. Does that help any? Yeah. Right. That's all right. All right, and this is baseball, so help us. Uh, when Seth gets on here, we'll be able to talk a little bit about it. Just pitch a little outside, 3-0 for Bellamy now. Looks like, and I'll get you some more information as we're going. We just walked in, got set up, so everybody hope you give us a second. On the mound for Hazard tonight, looks like number six, Tucker Napier. Tucker already pitched 10 games this year, so he's... Uh, Take that back four. Uh oh, Bellamy pops it up and caught by the catcher. So, got a little bit under it there, Isaac, but we'll get the next one. Yeah, bear with us on the video here. We're uh, kind of in the mud a little bit, but we do as best we can. So, that's one out for the Bobcats, and Brady Tincher steps up. Brady will be playing either catcher or left field tonight, so we'll see what he takes when the Cats take the field. Looks like the Cats will be the visiting or the, the visitors tonight. That's where they got the bat first. And this is the first game of the All-A State Baseball Tournament for the Region 14. So hope that you enjoy listening to us a little bit. This is mine says first time ever. Yeah. And uh, or I got Matt with me right now. All right now, Seth, try that. Okay. There's Seth. Hi, say, say hi to everybody, Seth. Hey. Seth Holland. And... We'll try our best not to be biased. We won't be. Matter of fact, we've got both. Both of us have sons that play for Breathitt, but we'll uh, we'll try to keep it up. And there's a little um, dribbler up the middle. Second baseman fires and got him at first. Bang Close bang play. play. Bang, bang bang. Now guys, uh, usually we keep count of all the uh, balls and strikes on the screen, but tonight uh, where we have a little bit of unorthodox setup, I'm just going to be keeping track of the outs and the inning. Okay, sounds good. We'll try to keep y'all up to date. Here comes Robbie Turner up to bat. Robbie Turner, we've got two outs, top of the first. Robbie's also a catcher and first baseman for the Bobcats. Up in his eyes for first ball. And I'm also, while we're doing this, I am trying to write down our stats so that we can continue to work on that. So we'll, we'll do the best we can. There's a shot to third. Looks like, oh, third baseman. In the, if I had my glasses on, it would help. And who did the ball? And Robbie gets on it. Here, five. Yes. Looks good like good um, Eli Johnson at third. That's a good Can shot. Point number 34. Yeah, that's a really hard hit. It was. It, it took a little bounce on him, but it's tough, Seth, when they start these games off and they're just rusty and trying to get things going, and even. Especially fielding it, you got to get into a groove of the game before you get going. So here's Bash Howard, cleanup hitter for the Breathitt. Robbie Turner on first, two outs. And I'm sure that they'll keep it close eye on Robbie. Not much of a lead. Let's we'll see what. Robbie's a big talk kid, plays catcher, plays first. It's kind of like me, not a huge threat to steal. Unless you're at the buffet, steal an extra plate. <laughs> For me, at least, is what I'm talking about. Throw to first and dives back. Looks like he's safe, calls time. It's a beautiful night here in Hazard. I'm glad the sun came back out. It was an interesting day. There's a pitch inside. And if you heard the announcer, uh, Jaron Fugit. Uh, looks like he's going to run for Robbie. I guess that means Robbie's catching. Jaron's seventh grader. Very fleet of feet. And Bash smashes one foul down the left field line. We've got all kinds of media around us. This is a pretty important game. A lot of people want to say that this might be a championship type game for the All A Classic. You're exactly right, Chuck. That this is this is a big time game. 
for both programs. Yeah, that's one thing we keep bringing up is uh, the seeding of the All-A tournament. A lot of times it seems like the first round games are, like you said, your impromptu championship games. But tonight we're going to, the winner of this gets Wolf County from what I was told. I don't have the, everything in front of me, but. Uh, yeah, if the Hazard wins tonight, uh, softball and baseball, either one, uh, Wolf County will come to Hazard on Wednesday for the next game. And that is not God speaking to us, people. That is Matt Hudson. He's uh, he's helping us with the cameras tonight, taking care of everything. Another pitch high to bash, and that is four straight, and he shall take first base on that. I don't think they was wanting to give bash much. He He's a team lead, leader in batting average and about all the stats, so. Absolutely, he's a, he's a hardworking kid, really worked on his game over the years. He's gonna be a great, he's a sophomore, and he'll be playing in this region for a couple more years. It looks like, uh, in breath it, Seth, you can tell people about this. Like I said, we know a little more about breath it where we see them a little more, but they've got a lot of uh, veterans, five seniors on this team, and they also all got three or four seventh and eighth graders that play a little bit, and yeah. especially, and here's one right here, Aiden Combs. Foul back at us. Oh, back at us. <laughs> you notice you both got the insurance men here when the ball goes towards the cars and they both go, oh. Yes. Yeah, it's been bad luck sitting there trying to get, to pay, uh, get their ticket to get in the game and get hit. That's right. There's a pitch that looked like a strike, but a little low. that's why I'm not calling the game. A little bit low. 1-1 you know, one, one count to Aiden. Breath it with runners on first and second. Both take their leads. Nobody's holding them on. There's one to Aiden and straight back. That's one for the squirrels. And we'll go to 2-2 two, two on the count. So curveball and he taps it back to the pitcher. The pitcher grabs it, throws it to first, and gets him. He gets him out of the he got himself out of the inning. That was a good play by Napier. He grabbed the put, grabbed it, threw it to first to get him out. So we're gonna take a break, Matt. This is again our first time. So will you just tell us what to do, brother, and we'll do it. Hey, we're good. Yeah, in between ends, we're gonna take a quick commercial break, guys. So we'll be right back here in about a minute and a half on Bluegrass Sports Nation. What keeps you going? Your love for the game, your teammates, a victory? At ARH Orthopedics, our goal is to keep you pain free so your body can keep going. There's no time for discomfort in your joints or ligaments caused by an injury. ARH Orthopedic providers specialize in treatment plans from non-surgical and surgical options, so your care is entirely centered around you. Visit ARH.org slash ortho to find an orthopedic provider near you. ARH, more for Appalachia. Packing destination, but is now quickly becoming known for its great restaurants and entertainment venues. Venues like... Skybridge Station, where you can see live music on the weekends or go to Tuesday Night Trivia. Kells Patriot Pizza, Spanx Franks, Dixie Freeze, E Finca, 145 Stakeout, which has live music most weekends, The Brick, Red Point Barbecue, and Bites and Bargains. Wolf County is naturally gorgeous, and Wolf County Tourism invites you to stop in and try one of these great restaurants on your next visit. Appalachian Wireless is all in on tech madness. Right now, select devices get up to $500 off on the Appalachian Advantage Unlimited or Nationwide Mix and Match plans with renewed or new lines. Plus, use a trade-in for additional savings of up to $250 for a possible savings of up to $750. See AppalachianWireless.com for complete terms and conditions. It's tech madness with up to $750 off because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. All right, everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to Hazard, Kentucky. First round game of the boys 14th region all a baseball tournament. Got Vizzy, theoretically Vizzy Breath of County Bobcats and the Hazard Bulldogs. And it looks like Hazard uh, Breath it, uh, you're just now joining us. Had runners on first and second, but the Hazard got out of the bottom of uh, the top of the first and here we are in the middle. And looks like the pitcher Tucker Napier is going to lead off. And we'll learn all these hazard kids. Tucker leads the team in hits as well. Look at Seth coming out of there. All that info. 
There's a shot past the shortstop Bellamy in the left field for a base hit. That's quick. Good lick. Good hit by, by Napier there. Now, Trace Kincaid. Seen this kid before? You ever seen him before, Seth? I believe I have. He's a good-looking young man. Good look. It's like his mother, I'm sure. But, Looks like he's uh, been pretty hot at, at, at batting in the last couple games. I like his high pants. Good look, good look for Trace. I like that. He takes the first strike. He likes to settle in on that. Trace is just a freshman. He's uh, He's got a real big future ahead for Hazard. And yes, he's he's actually leading the team in batting average at 440. Wow. That's, that's pretty impressive. It's two straight Robbie's thrown over to first. Napier on first with a base hit. Start the inning, no outs. 1-1 one, one count to Kincaid. Low ball looks like you got past the catcher, and that'll Napier will easily go to second on that. Got to get all the way down on those guys. See if the Bobcats and Robbie can settle in here. And it's like we said before, this is this is a big game to start a tournament with. And I'm sure, there's a lot of butterflies out there on the field. Next pitch, to Kincaid, just a little behind it. One, two. Tincher goes out and has a few words of wisdom for Turner. Scores 0-0 zero, zero in the bottom of the first here, guys. No outs, Napier on second. Just outside, looks like. So that'll make the count 2-2 two, two to Kincaid. In case you missed it, Napier hit a single in the left field to start the game and then had a pass ball. On, and got to second on the air on two. Oh, no. Tincher framed it. Tincher framed it. He wanted it, but didn't get it. So we're going 3 1 now. 3 2. Or is it two? I'm sorry. I can't see for the yeah. first baseman until Cox yeah. to get out of the way okay. there at first, and I can see it. Full count. Full count. Thank you, sir. Curveball and Trace stays alive. So gutsy throw a curveball on the 3-2 count. Come in there with it and it dropping like that. Mm -hmm. Roddy looks to second. Not really holding him on much. Well, now Bellamy moves over and he looks and throws, almost hits him. You do not get to advance if you get hit by the ball like that. But uh, <laughs> got to keep him honest up there, especially with no outs. We want to keep him tight with your Bobcats. Good eye by Ken Cade, took ball four. That was up in his eyes. Coming to the plate, number 15, Gage Logan. So next for Hazard, as you can, if you can hear in the background, is Gage Logan. I'm not sure. Yeah, Gage is, uh, he's leading the team in RBIs. He's got 20 RBIs, and, and this ain't been updated the last couple games because I'm sure he's got more. He's batting third for a reason, I'd say. Yep. Stout looking kid. Shot back up at Robbie and uh, booted second, but he throws the first and gets him. What is Hank Lee Combs hung with it and got the quick yep. out to first. Missed the force at second, so almost a sacrifice for Logan. I think he was trying to tag, get that double play real quick, but but he stayed with it. It, it wanted to stay with it and get that out at first. All right, now it's cleanup. It's Talon Goins. Another big tall kid. Looks like he can play baseball. I guess that's again why he's batting fourth, right? Let's foul back at us. Thank goodness for fences and nets. And we live to call another play. All right. 
And just to recap again, we've got one out on a fielder's choice to first. And so Hazard has second and third. Great situation to score here. Well, Logan took that one, and the fans are still upset about it, but 1-1 one, one count. Robbie Turner a bit of a pinch here to start the game. And there goes one to right field. Over the head of the right fielder. Can't see exactly who it was. And this is going to score at least two. And Logan's coming around to third. And I'd say they'll hold him there. And that'll put two on the board. First inning for the Bulldogs. That's a big hit. Big That's shot. Like big like shot. It's number seven. Max. Max. Max Pelfrey up next. And I still don't have positions or anything. We'll try to work on those in a little bit. It's a big fat triple. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm also scoring this, folks. So I hope you bear with me. We'll try to get all this scored. Max is big time athlete. He plays football, baseball. That's a big time athlete to me. One out, runner on third. Hazard came to play early. And yeah, they got their bats popping. Look, Robbie's waiting on a signal. He's got it and he's ready to deliver. Just inside. 2 0. Seth, it's tough whenever you're, you're playing a first inning of a big game like this and give up a shot. And Turner's trying to throw it a little bit, looks like now. There's a good pitch. He fouled off. 2 1. We'll see what happens. Be, this would be a big out for him. If he can get this, this is, you know, one of their premier players in Eastern Kentucky. Pelfrey looks. That's a good, good pitch. Yep. And he took ball three. 3-1. Three, Trying to give, I've got my scorecard all messed up. These hazard hitters ain't chasing. They're... We've got a mound visit. Yep. Well, until I was fixing my chicken scratch scoreboard here, scorecard, I got my hand. I was getting ready to say, I would say that we're getting ready to see a visit by one of the Breathitt coaching staff. Kind of settle Robbie down a little bit, see if we can get him straightened up. We saw him, just to give you a little inside information, we kind of saw him pitching a couple days ago, and he did a fine job. Mm -hmm. uh, who's he pitching against? Uh, I'm trying to Cooper. Yeah, played uh, breath and went last this weekend to a, a three team round robin tournament. One, one, lost one, beat Cooper, which is a Cooper High School in Northern Kentucky. Beat him handily and then kind of came out and played some younger guys and got beat to, by Harrison in that same tournament. So here's big Clint Davidson, he's ready to go. Still got one out, runners on first and third after the walk, and he tries to bunt and bunts it right at us. It's a good spot right here with one out. As it's always known to be able to be a really good bunting team. I have not been That's done. small ball. Trying to move them runners around, one out. It's a good idea. Once again, first and third, there's the pitch. And 1-1 one, one now. 1-1, one, one, one out, runners on the corners. Hazard in business here in the bottom of the first. I'm surprised by all the media here. I thought we were the only ones in town, but it looks like we've got all kinds of company today. Big game. WWJSN, WSGS, WYMT, and BSN. I feel like I'm important. Low man on the totem pole. 
Tuf. Looks like Robbie's ready. 1-1 one, one pitch. Button again. Lays down perfectly. Here comes the runner at home. If he have turned around, he might have seen him, but that, that got Pelfrey in from third. Or, let's see, I'm sorry, it's not Pelfrey. That was... Is that going? Goins. Talon Goins. Sorry, Talon. Missed you there. Good sacrifice there by Davidson. And good bunt. Evan Aikman. All right, here's number three, Evan Aikman. Takes first ball. One good thing about it, guys, is next Hazard batted so many this first inning. Next time around, we'll already know who they are. Won't have to fill out the scoreboard. There's a shot to left. Looks like it's going to tail foul. Going to the fence. And out of like Eli Crisp looks and says, nope, not jumping the fence for that one. It'd be pretty impressive if he could, though. That's about an eight, nine foot fence over there. Hey, listen, Matt, you never know. You never know. Back in my day, no. Two outs. Robbie Turner fighting through. Hazards ahead three to nothing, bottom of the first. With the runner on second after a nice sacrifice to get him in scoring position. There's a shot to Bellamy at short. Bellamy boots it and no play. Mm. Just don't know what to say about that, Seth. I think he was trying to rush it. I watched his eyes. His eyes was looking up. The kid's pretty fast. He was going to try to really get it over there. They just need to settle down. Yeah. Typically, Brett, it's a pretty good defensive team. This is uncharacteristic of them. Yep, they have got themselves a, an early hole to dig out of. Here's Isaiah Johnson. This will be the eighth batter for Hazard. Crowd's getting loud. There goes old oh, play to second, and it's coming home and safe. Don't know about throwing that one, but it's a good play by Hazard. The double steal. Got to love a double steal, especially with two outs. And they jumped all over that one. It makes it four to nothing. Five to nothing. Sorry, Hazard. One, two, three, four, five to nothing. Does that update my scorecard? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was right. I, I thought it was four, four to nothing. Yeah, thank was. you. I was going to say. I'm, I was confused as well. I was too. So that's four to nothing hazard. Trying to get an extra one in there, honest, but the old trusty scorecard that looks like chicken scratch caught him on it. There's another. Wild, I'm going to give that one wild pitch to Turner. Hit the ground before it got up there. And that move, Robbie's that up moves to Aikman to the third. 25 pitches in the first inning. I'm, I'm, glad, really you're I'm glad you're counting, because I am not. I'm not counting. It's on the board. Thank you. Yeah. Shh, don't tell me that. Act like you're doing something over there, Seth, besides being pretty all the time. I've about got my scorecard caught up. 2-2 two -two count here to Johnson. And he reaches out and smacks one into right center, but looks like Adam, Adam Spencer. Spencer got under it and got him for the out. So at least stop the bleeding. That's a, it's a tough inning for the bud. With, as we go to the top of the second, hazard four, breath at zero. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Go Time is a locally owned and operated convenience store that has all your wants and needs in one stop. We have everything from quick snacks and cool drinks, a full service deli, fresh coffee bar, soft serve ice cream, and milkshakes. Also, make sure to check out our Little Caesars pizzas. Go Time, where the customer always comes first. You fuel your tank, refill your cup, and refresh your taste buds all in one stop at Go Time. Kentucky Farm Bureau agents wear a lot of hats. They're coaches, volunteers, church members, neighbors, 
someone who's there when you need them, especially when you need them most. That may be a lot of hats, but they're all the perfect fit. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. YPK Motorsports is excited to help you experience the fun and adventure a quality Yamaha, Polaris, or Kawasaki vehicle can bring to your life. Now with four locations, YPK invites you to see our great selection of ATVs, side-by-sides, dirt bikes, and more. Come visit us in Jackson, Hazard, or Paintsville, or online at ypkmotorsports.com. All right, guys, welcome back to the top of the second. Breath it's at bat after digging a nice four to nothing hole in the bottom of the first. Reese Cox for the Bobcats leads off. Let's, let's see how they respond. We've got a lot of veterans on our, you know, on the breath it. Hmm. Speaking of veterans, Cox is a senior and quickly in an 0-2 hole. I tried to grab that one and I could not. Too slow. Plus there's a fence between me and the ball. That's no excuse, Chuck. You should have had it. Should have had that. Should have had it. All right, Cox still fighting here. 0-2 count. No outs here at the top of the second. Trying to get him to go for one up high, and he did not go. 1-2. Reese has played a lot of ball in his life, and it's, it's hard for him to. He won't swing at those. And here's the pitch. Yep, hangs in there. Barely got a piece of that one. Stay alive. Yeah. Napier's pitched a good game so far. Yeah, Napier, Napier is a really good pitcher. Young pitcher, sophomore. Tried to throw the curve in there. It's a great take. Real close is all I got to say. Real close. So that evens it up at 2-2. I would already struck out twice. Just thank Hazard for the nice facilities they have here for us tonight. And as we do that, Cox goes for one and goes to the dugout. First out for Breathitt. And looks like, Eli, looks like Eli Crisp comes up for Bobcats. I think Eli plays football too, doesn't he, Seth? Yes. Eli's a really good athlete. Just a bit behind on that one. This Napier's coming in. He's throwing strikes. He's it, throwing some heat. That's all he's done so far. It's pretty impressive. Look, about had another one. Just a bit outside. Four to nothing here, guys. If uh, just tuning in, Hazard had a great bottom of the first. Put in a couple hits and a couple errors on Breathed's side that helped give him a couple runs and. They're head four to nothing here in the first or in the second inning. This is Chuck Price. I got Seth Holland here with me. The great Matt Hudson helping out on the camera and throwing in some smirky little comments from time to time to make it pretty. Gotta have that smirky guy. Especially when you got a couple rookies in the box, isn't it right, Matt? I'm sure you'll get all kinds of emails tonight. No, I'm not saying thank you. Now he lies battled back to a full count. We really do appreciate you guys helping us out, though. Uh, well, like I said, we were coming. We were, uh, we were coming to the game, and we we enjoy baseball. We enjoy everything you guys do, football, basketball, and we just wanted to help out and do our part. So Chris hanging in tough with the foul off. Low, probably strike three, so way to go. He's got a full count here with one out at the top of the second. This is going to be a lot easier when we... Get our scorecards fixed up by the next inning. He's staying alive. Good job, Eli. Continues to battle. Continues to battle. I think his dad helps coach the team. He's a character, to say the least. I think he's a pitching coach. That's what you call him? It sounds good to me. Yeah. Oh, no. Just got under over top of that one, strike three, and Crisp goes back to the dugout. That's two strikeouts here in the 
Should be for Mr. Napier. Now here's the DH, Colby Bird. Colby's been hot. I mean, he's hit, he's hitting the ball as good as anybody Brett that has. Pretty much as good as anybody. I ain't got a little fold on that one. So this is my first time watching Napier pitch, and I am very impressed already. Napier's got good stuff. He's he's bringing the heat too. I've known Napier for a long time. He he played little league with my son. So one one count, two outs, top of the second, and make it three. Two uh, one one. Okay, thought that was strike three. My bad. That's two strikes on Bird. Still lives. One two. It's up to Bird here to keep this inning going. Wow. That was a cut. Friends, call the police. That was a nasty, nasty that was pitch. really nasty. Nice curveball was going around his head and dropped right in the strike zone. Unbelievable inning there. Struck out the side for Mr. Napier, and we're going to go to a break. So we hit the middle of the second. It's four to zero. Hazard. At HCTC, you're more than just a student. I am motivated. I am retired. I am a grandmother. I am a veteran. I am an entrepreneur. I am a son. I am a small business owner. I am HCTC. Jackson Physical Therapy is your locally owned and operated physical therapy clinic serving Jackson and the surrounding areas. Owned by Colby Watts, Jackson Physical Therapy has a talented and experienced staff ready to meet all your physical therapy needs. Jackson Physical Therapy is a proud supporter of our local youth and sports teams. Call JPT at 666-9293 to schedule your appointment today and let us improve your quality of life. Jackson Electric and Plumbing Supply in Jackson, Kentucky is proud to serve Breathick, Lee, Wolf, Morgan, Owsley, Perry, and Madison Counties. Established in 1982 with over 40 years of service to those communities, Jackson Electric and Plumbing Supply can not only meet your electric and plumbing needs, but also heating and cooling, concrete and metal septic tanks, as well as your special orders. Call Scott and the gang today at 606-666-4052. Okay, everybody, welcome back to Hazard, Kentucky. Our first game of the uh, All-A Regional Tournament for the 14th Region. Breathy County Bobcats against the Hazard Bulldogs. The Hazards come out strong, four to nothing. This is the bottom of the second, and we're leading off with Skylar Chaney. This Hazard second at back. Robbie Smith, Robbie Turner on the mound for the Bobcats. Kind of had a rough first inning. See if he'll settle in the second inning in the lower part of the lineup. But from what I saw in the first inning, there is no soft part of this lineup. Nope. This Cheney puts one foul down the first baseline for his first strike, two one. No outs, first batter at the bottom of the second. Has her dugout full of life. I would be too if I was ahead four to nothing. There's a shot to Bellamy short. He throws and gets him by a couple steps. Finally, first play the breath. It's really settled in, Seth, and, and made a play. That was a nice play. Bellamy made a nice throw, nice play. Well, I hate to warn him, but here comes the top of the lineup. Mm. Make her back up. And this, folks, this is the pitcher tucking these or Napier, sorry, Napier, that uh, struck out the side in the top of the second. So, uh, man, he's riding high. And if he could help himself here with a good shot, get on base and score, that'd be a good start of the game for him. And Seth, you said you knew him a little bit. He's a sophomore. He's a sophomore. Um, Miles has played with him multiple times in tournaments, and he's he's got some power, too. He's not just a base hitter. Robbie delivers, and there's a shot. You called it, Ned. Oh, Bellamy got it, but he's not going to have time. Napier way too quick for that. 
Good job by Bellamy just to get a glove on the ball. It looks like he, that's almost that was the same thing. Spot. That's what I was getting ready to say. The exact same spot he hit his first one. You need to stay outside on him. And that brings up Kincaid for his second at bat and his same amount of innings. Trace walked the last, last time at bat in the first. As Hazard already in business here. The bottom of the second. I'd be surprised you see Hazard try to steal here, try to get him in scoring position. Looks like Turner delivers and looks like he got a strike that time. 1-1. One, one. Sure is a beautiful night for baseball. It's the second time today the sun started to set. and <laughs> We really uh, hope everybody enjoyed the eclipse and nobody's seen any dark circles around their eyes. And Kincaid reaches out, smacks one into center for a nice base hit. Yeah, good piece of hit. Real good piece of hit. Moves him over. Now, Hazard in business again. First and second with one out. So here comes Gage Logan. Third hitter. If I could read my own writing, it would help. You note to self, bring Chuck clipboard. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, it's uh, just uh, not not for any excuses, but we're kind of sitting, I'm sitting on the steps and have two piles of papers in my hands and sitting, trying to do this. First time I've got to see Hazard play this year. And uh, thank goodness we've seen Breathitt play or else I'd really not know what we're talking about and have to keep up with it. But we're getting through Ooh. twice. Just a bit inside <laughs> to Logan. <laughs> He's got a beard, uh, kind of trimmed it up for him there almost. It was close. Good reaction. All right, it makes it 1-1. Runners on first and second for the Bulldogs. There's a curveball that didn't curve, and there's two balls and one strike. It's the count. One strike. Looks like the wind's blowing maybe center to, to right field a little bit, so it's definitely a hitter's breeze right now. Another one up in his eyes. 3-1 now by Turner. We'll see if he can battle back. He does not want to walk this guy. Mm. Because coming up next is like Ms. Taylor is going. So yeah. The last inning, he, he, he smacked it off the fence. And that's exactly what he did. Seems like I knew that was going to happen, but uh, I did not. <laughs> so there's a... Coming to the plate, not keeping up. So here comes Goins again, tape. Talon Goins and the cleanup hitter who absolutely did that and has an opportunity to do so again here in the second. Bases full of Bulldogs. One out. Infield looks like they're going to play in to try to get the play out at home. If he hits the ball like he did last time, there will be no getting that ball. Wind's kind of picking up. It's going to act like it was the fan, Seth. Thanks for blowing that for me. Robbie just missed him high. Release points a little bit off. I was going to say, it's... I don't think Shaq would hit that one. And Goins is a big old kid. Oh... Fouled it off the shin. That's not going to feel good tomorrow. Mm. It's like the infield's playing in, trying to get this play at home. Mm -hmm. Even count 1-1. One, one. one out. Bases juiced, as they say. First and third playing in. It's Napier's over on third. Kincaid at second. And Logan on third. Looking forward to seeing what Goins does here. 2-1, no room left, so you've got to throw strikes here. If you return. See if they can get a hot shot here and get a double play or... Threw a changeup at him that time, caught him off guard, 2-2. Two -two. 
Nice pitch, Rob. I'm going to go ahead and say, Seth, this is a pivotal moment in this game for the Bobcats. And Cohen hits that one out of play. Trailing foul. Looks like he just picked that ball and it went well, past it. It's a good distance. Yeah, you Strong got to, kid. When you get two strikes, you kind of have to protect a little bit. And I think he might have thought that might have been close and just fouled it off to get another good pitch that he wants. And boots one in the hole between short and third. Howard reaches, looks like Napier scores, and they're going to hold him there. At the plate at number seven, Matt. Good try by Howard, but that scores Napier. It's a tough play. Please. Moves Ken K to third, Logan to second. Goins with a nice single to left on first. So here we are. We're still loaded. Same situation, except this time Max Pelfrey's up. Good stop by the catcher. Tincher, he blocked that one. Bobcats can't afford a wild ball or a wild pitch here either, or a pass ball. Turner's ready. Robbie's up to 50 Nothing. pitches in two innings. That's... I'm sure that's more than Coach Combs from the Bobcats wants him to have at this point. Well, Hazard's enthusiasm's high right now. Straight up. Looks like the catcher's got a play on it, maybe. Oh, great try by Potential. That wind was really yeah. telling. It's a tough, tough play. You don't have the glove at catcher, I don't think, to really make that play. He did his best to... At least get a glove on it. Got to count as a strike, and he's still in business. Pelfrey is. Still one out. Bottom of the second. Five to nothing hazard. Another good stop by Tincher. They're throwing him low for some reason. I don't know if it's one of his weaknesses or... And they know it, but everything he's got has been low. He's a strong kid. I'm, I'm sure he's he's probably their home run. And no room at the end. Got a feeling that coach looks like he's looks like they're going to make a pitching change. And that'll score Trace Kincaid for the second round of the inning. Six to nothing has the Bulldogs. Max Pelfrey with the Unfortunate walk for the Bobcats. Moves everybody around. And as I've said, the third straight batter. Bases loaded. It's tough for any pitcher to come in on that. Looks like we're making a change. Who are we getting? Seth, can you see? I think Reese Cox is coming in to pitch. Bringing, bringing the veteran player, Reese Cox. What was he playing? Is he playing first? first. That's what I thought. So they're going to bring the first baseman in, Reese Cox, senior. He's going to come in and pitch. Robbie will probably go to first. Yeah, hey, we're going to give uh, Reese a little bit to warm up here, get a few pitches. So we're going to kick it out for a quick commercial break. We'll be right back here in about a minute on Bluegrass Sports Nation. During a loss, we realize that your loved one is your most valuable possession. At Breath at Funeral Home, we consider it an honor to serve your family. We've recently made some big changes, but not only to the building. We have lowered our prices to what we believe are the lowest in Breathitt County. We offer payment plans for prearranged funerals, and we will honor prearrangements from any other funeral home. Breathitt Funeral Home, premium service at an affordable price, when only the best will do. Since 1962, Citizens Bank and Trust of Jackson has been proud to serve the community. They care about the people of Breathitt County and are the only locally owned bank in the community. With two branches in Jackson and one in Beattyville, they're never too far away when you need them. And with the latest innovations in banking, keeping track of your finances has never been easier. Helping to grow Breathitt County as leaders for over 60 years. That's Citizens Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hazard, Kentucky for the first round game of the 14th Region All-A Baseball Tournament. And the Hazard Bulldogs have come to play tonight. Six to nothing, bottom of the second. Breath has had to take out Robbie Turner, who pitched the first t inning and a half and uh, just wasn't his night. Moved to first, and they brought in Reese Cox, a senior, and is facing uh, Clint Davidson here. And they had, it looks like they had a little uh, squeeze play on and didn't get it through. This Hazard team has shown a lot of baseball strategies, I guess is a good way to put it, Matt. Uh, you've seen a lot, of, you've seen some bunts, you've seen some good, easy singles, some stolen bases, some hit and runs, uh, really good fundamental baseball here. That's been a staple of theirs over the years, you know. If you went back and looked at how many games they've won just by one or two runs, squeezing runs in and here and there, um, it's kind of their bread and butter up here. It's kind of like when you go to, to medical school, you know what they call the guy that finished last in the class? Doctor. <laughs> if you win by one run, you still win. And I'll take it all day. So bases are loaded for Reese. So he comes in a tough spot uh, with, uh, he's got Logan on third, Goins on second, and Max Pelfrey on first after a walk. And now he's facing again, Clint Davidson. Davidson hits one, looks like it's popped up to short, shallow left. Bellamy drafts back, catches it, and they fake the tag. And it's a good thing because Bellamy threw one on a rope to home and it would have been a double play. So smart play by a third base coach. Hold him in there as Davidson pops out to short. So here's Evan Aikman, his second time up. Last time he got on base with an error by the same Bellamy that just made a great play right there. So it looks like he settled in. So we'll just put a big six in there and my two outs and we're going two outs bottom of the night, six to nothing hazard. Once again, base is loaded. We'll see if they can cash in, see if Aikman can Get him some insurance runs here. A little bit high, first pitch. Just really impressed, Matt, with the, you can tell, you know, you can see these teams that are fundamentally sound, good looking baseball players. Is, Mr. Aikman fouls one, Crisp gave it a look, but once again, that big ugly fence got in the way and he couldn't go and catch it. So part of the deal. Yeah, like you're saying, it's, it's pretty easy when you show up and we'll start watching these teams uh, tell which ones have put the work in, which ones have been, you know, at it doing the uh, travel ball and putting the work in off season. Here it comes. Cox throws one in the dirt right over the plate. Good stop by. Here comes Seth. He's back. He's been out doing some research for us. Just get some more information on the on this players of this game so we can bring it to you folks. Once again, our inaugural attempt at giving you some comments and color coding of this baseball team here in Eastern Kentucky. We hope you enjoy it, and we hope uh, we, we'll be glad to hear any of your comments, all good ones, no bad ones, please. We want five stars, nothing less. If you got one stars, just keep it to yourself, is what Dave Ramsey says. He's one of my favorite guys on the radio, but we will. We'll, we'll listen to any kind of constructive criticism. Love to hear it. There's another another one popped straight up to third. Cox, yep, Cox Bash. called off and Bash called him off and made the third out, but not after. Hazard adds two more Reese to their total. In and, uh, I mean, that, that could have got really bad and in a hurry, but. <laughs> Looks bad to me if I was breath at six to nothing. As we go to the top of the third, we'll take a break here, Matt, and be back in just a few minutes. This is Bluegrass Sports Nation. Rodney Pizza, located at 1189 Main Street in Jackson, has been family owned and operated for over 45 years, serving the community with fresh, homemade, and handcrafted pizzas, sandwiches, salads, and more. Carry out or stay and enjoy the newly renovated dining areas with private party spaces available. Stop by and see Lee and Al or call 666 5454 for variety pizza. Family and hometown pharmacies have been serving Breathitt County for over 20 years and are proud to support our local athletes. They are hometown owned and operated by Portia and Everett Dunaway. Portia and Everett want you to know that family and hometown pharmacies are here for you. Now offering two ways to fill your prescriptions. Use the Refill Quick app on your smartphone 
or give them a call at 666-5519 or 666-5500. Basketball fans know December is the start of the holiday season, a four-month round ball holiday running all winter right through March. And at Rose Brothers, we're happy to help Bluegrass Sports Nation bring great high school action to you each week. And when your athletes need basketball shoes or when you need warm weather gear to get through the winter, come see us at Rose Brothers. We have performance athletic footwear from Nike, Under Armour, and Skechers and great outerwear from Columbia, Simply Southern, and Under Armour. Now let's cheer on our young athletes and good luck from all of us at Rose Brothers in Jackson and Bateville. PDQ Sales and Services, formerly known as Jackson Wholesale Company, is a locally owned and operated convenience store and grocery store supplier with a full line of products. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've uh, had a couple technical difficulties. We had to smack some kid. He unplugged us there a little bit, so uh, we've done beat him up and thrown him in the river, and uh, we're ready. We're back here at Hazard, Kentucky for the All-A Tournament. Full disclosure, that did not happen. <laughs> <laughs> no. We just, uh, you all know how computers are, and I'm old, and well, Matt's not as old, but. Uh, no, this is one of the most difficult places in Eastern Kentucky to uh, put, actually put a baseball game on. Uh, the internet, there's no actual hard line connection, and then you're right between the mountains. Oh. So the internet connection is really in and out. So it stayed live on YouTube, but it did kick us off of Facebook. I'm in my 50s, and I've learned something today, so there you go. Well, we've got Dylan Stacy here at the top of the third. Uh, the Bobcat, yeah, Bobcats have dug themselves a hole if you're just joining us. And the Hazards head six to nothing after two at bats. And the Breathitt starts through third at bat in the top of the third. And we've got Dylan Stacy, the center fielder, uh, the ninth hitter, and he's one two here to Napier. Dylan is quite fleet of feet. Uh, we saw him bunt a few times. He actually bunted a minute ago and bunted it foul. He's a hard man to throw out, Seth. Yes, sir. All right, Dylan. Here comes Dylan. One three count from Napier, who's thrown a great game and lost his hat. Oh, he scared me there for a second. I thought he'd hurt himself or something. He kind of bent over funny, but he lost his hat. So, oh, uh, Dylan's battled back on this to a two two count. And once again, folks, we know the Bobcats a little bit. Our sons play for breath it. Uh, Seth's son's plays. My son keeps the right side of the bench warm. And uh, we've seen Breath of play a lot this year, and uh, we know them a little better, so I apologize. We'll try to learn this hazard team tonight and know them better next time these two meet. Just really impressed with uh, the way hazards come out tonight. Pretty much put it to breath. That's a, that's a big play for the Bobcats because, you know, in statistics, if you get your first man on, that, that, that serves a big indicating that you can get some runs. That's why he's the best colored man in the game, but for folks knowing that stuff, and I agree with him. So Stacy's at first. He's always a threat to steal. And come back to the top of the lineup for the Bobcats, Isaac Bellum. Bellamy's playing short. Had an error early in the game. He fought back, uh, fought through the jitters, and made a couple of real good plays in this in this bottom of the second. Throw over to keep uh, keep Dylan on first. I'm fighting off insects, folks. I've got bees flying on me or something. Isaac had a big weekend last weekend. He really hit the ball hard. Back to first again. Looks like Napier heard what I said because he's thrown over twice, knowing that's Stacy can take off at any point in time. I went to school with Dylan's dad, unbelievable athlete, one of the best basketball players, in my opinion, in Breath of County High School history. Gone. And there goes Bellamy, he gets into one deep center field. He's looking up off oh. the fence, just inside the park. And it looks like Dylan's going to come to third and Bellamy into second with a double. So now the Bobcats tend to seem like they're getting going a little. Looks like we want a good game, folks. We want it to be close. We want it to be exciting, and hopefully that's what we're going to have for the next four innings. Nice. Score update up on the hill. Uh, Breathitt and Hazard are at 0-0 softball game. So yeah, it's a little bit of a, a, little different a, a rivalry here this weekend, or well, this weekend on Monday night here in, in Perry County. We've got the Breathitt County softball team just above us on the hill playing against the Hazard Lady Bulldogs in softball. And then, of course, the high school team that you're watching, the boys here playing in their all-A first-round tournament game. 
Looks like, you know, uh, this is the second time around seeing him, and Clay Bellamy seen that pitch pretty good. And I'll say, too, that's you've got to watch the youth of some of these players and see how they react to these situations. This is a tough situation. Napier looked like he was unstoppable through those first two innings and then gets gives up a walk, then a deep, deep double to Bellamy, which puts a little pressure on him. You see how he reacts. He's uh, and there goes Tincher trying to kill first the head coach, Justin Combs, at third. <laughs> but with his fleet feet, got out of the way. He's so quick, I didn't I even see him move. I, yeah, I don't think I could have got out of the way of that one. That was, that was a hard we, hit. And Seth, and Seth, we got some celebrities in the crowd here tonight. We'll probably grab a couple of them and pull them into the radio here in a little while and interview them and see what they got to say. Well, I've, seen, good. I've seen a couple walk by. We'll try to get somebody off and See if we can get him on the right, on the TV here in a few minutes. That'll give me a great idea. I know there's some clips of Justin playing football back in the day. Oh. See if we can get him high stepping here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Mm, looks like Brady's Tincher in? just a little early on that one. That one was looking for the rocks over the left field line, and he just pulled it foul. I think we're going to get Tuck. I believe Tucker, the pitcher, needs a new hat. I don't think it's fitting him. It's kind of come off or a couple times on him. Just so straight up, line. just hanging in there, one, two count still on Tincher. If he can line this out, he's. Big moment for the Bobcats here. It'd be a big here. moment. It'd be really big for the Bobcats to get on the board. And you never know when, when you get on a rally. Stacy on third, Bellamy on second, no oh. outs. And Tincher just it's went for the changeup and it got him. It's a good pitch by Tucker. That's a good way to come. Napier came back strong on that. That was, that was a good play by him. I'm really impressed with uh, Napier's rhythm, his pace. You know, he seems like he's locked in right now. Yeah. He works quick. He works quick, too. He don't. Well, this batter, I see a little vengeance in his eyes. This is Robbie Turner. He started the game out and gave up those uh, six runs to the Bulldogs and has a chance right here to cut it in half with a big swing. We'll see how he reacts. One out, top of the third, and Napier's ready with a 1-0 one, oh, one count. One, one oh count, sorry. Now 2 oh, threw that one outside. Seth, do you seem, is he trying to throw a little too hard? Is he trying to overthrow right now? I, I mean, think his curve just ain't, it ain't, it don't seem like it's landing like it was earlier. And there's 3 0. Oh. And that's like always a sign of, you know, your, your arm getting tired, mechanics, you know. Early in the season like that, you, you just don't see guys pitching like the whole game. You know, you got to work up to that. All right. Turner goes down to talk to Justin Combs at third. I'm going to give my kids some money to get something to eat. I'm multitasking here, folks. And we're going to have a little powwow at the mount. The Napier's at 56 pitches at the moment, so we were talking about fatigue a minute ago. Mm -hmm. Definitely coming into play, probably. How many do How many do they usually allow Early in a high school game? It really so 127, I think, is it. But early like this, it's it's really hard to reach that. Yeah. You know, while these play multiple sports and they're working into that. So well, that was a questionable call. That looked like it was right down the pipe, but ref, the umpire said, nope, we're calling ball four. So there goes any kind of pitch. To, I don't know if he kind of pitched around him or not, but because uh, I sure don't want Bash Howard up if I'm the Bulldogs with the bases loaded and one out. That's what I was thinking. I was like, Robbie's a great hitter. Uh, you look on the uh, on-deck circle, and there stands Bash. So mm -hmm. kind of a lose-lose situation there. Now, Seth, do you know the coach that just went out? I apologize to everybody. I do not. I believe that's uh, Barney. I think Is that the head coach? head coach? Okay. Barney comes from uh, Clark County. He, he he had a pretty good reputation up there. 11th, what is it, 10th region? I think that's 10th. That's a good region. I don't know what number it is, that but is that's a, really that's a good, good baseball region. region. That's a good baseball. Clark's really good at baseball. Uh, Barney's, he's, he's from the mountains, though. A pivotal moment here, folks. We uh, recap here with the top of the third. Hazard with a commanding six to nothing lead on the Bulldogs. One out, but the but the Bobcats from Breathitt County are in business in a wild pitch. It's probably a pass ball. Dylan Stacy goes in and he is oh caught out, even though he was laying on the plate. Wow. 
Oh. Wow. I don't know about that call. Oh. Continue to stay in the middle of that, and that's a second out for the Bulldogs. A great play by the catcher and covered by Napier. Covered the plate and got him out. No matter what everybody says. We got to get a better jump on that, but I still, I, I think, I think he was safe on that. But you know, they got a better angle than we do. That's why they pay him and don't pay you. That's right. Uh -oh. All right, Howard's still up to bat, and that's the man we got. Everybody at least moved from first and second to second and third. Bellamy at second. And that's uh, Turner. At uh, Turner at second. Bellamy at third. Two outs to Bash Howard. One one count. Big curve ball right in there for strike two. Kind of like to see the replay on that, though. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> that would have been a one, two, one put out. And Howard gets into one. That's a gapper. That's trouble. Gone. Off the wall in left center. That's going to score two. And Howard cruises into second. Is that a home run? Uh, it hit the. I it's think it hit the ARH sign there. Yeah, it's about a foot okay. below the top uh, top bar there. Mm -mm -mm. And so the Bobcats, the two outs. Bash Howard steps up the cleanup hitter and puts one off the wall, left center, and is now at second all by himself on the base passes. He cleaned them up. So that's two for Breathitt. Been so nice that, to have deal have that third one. Wow. That's, we'll have to remember that towards the end of the game and see if that plays a role in, the, in who wins this game or not. That was a that was a tough play. And here's Aiden Combs, eighth grader. Down. One That's one up. Trouble. Nope. Great play. That looks like it was the second baseman, and I've got the wrong one. Uh, that was Isaiah Johnson. Great play. Moved covered a lot of ground there to pick that one off, and so. That puts Breathy down, but they get a couple back here in the bottom or the top of the third as we go to the middle as Hazard six, Breathy two. We'll be back in just a minute for the bottom of the inning. This is Bluegrass Sports Nation. What keeps you going? Your love for the game, your teammates, a victory? At ARH Orthopedics, our goal is to keep you pain-free so your body can keep going. There's no time for discomfort in your joints or ligaments caused by an injury. ARH Orthopedic providers specialize in treatment plans from non-surgical and surgical options, so your care is entirely centered around you. Visit ARH.org slash ortho to find an orthopedic provider near you. ARH, more for Appalachia. Wolf County is widely known as a rock climbing and hiking destination, but is now quickly becoming known for its great restaurants and entertainment venues. Venues like Skybridge Station, where you can see live music on the weekends or go to Tuesday Night Trivia. Kells Patriot Pizza, Spanx Franks, Dixie Freeze, E Finca, 145 Stakeout, which has live music most weekends, The Brick, Red Point Barbecue, and Bites and Bargains. Wolf County is naturally gorgeous, and Wolf County Tourism invites you to stop in and try one of these great restaurants on your next visit. Appalachian Wireless is all in on tech madness. Right now, select devices get up to $500 off on the Appalachian Advantage Unlimited or Nationwide Mix and Match plans with renewed or new lines. Plus, use a trade-in for additional savings of up to $250 for a possible savings of up to $750. See AppalachianWireless.com for complete terms and conditions. It's tech madness with up to $750 off because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Welcome back, everybody. Here we are, the bottom of the third here in Hazard, Kentucky, and the Hazard Bulldogs come on the field, or come on to to bat here. Bottom of the third, Bobcats getting two in the top of the third to kind of get back in the game a little bit. Hazard's head six to two, and as they get the right score sheet out, here's Isaiah John Johnson plays second base, made a great play there in the top. That's to, what I was about to get to a pop say. fly. I'll let you go ahead and say it. No, that was just a great play. And now you know. Sometimes you get to come up to bat and got a lot of juices going. Let's see what happens here. Somehow I missed one, but we'll go with it. Reese Cox pitching for the Bobcats came in in relief a little bit there in the second. Robbie Turner started the game, gave up some runs, and Reese came in. Robbie moved over to first. And so far, Reese has held him down a little bit. 
and everybody settled into a real good baseball game here tonight in Hasbro. 2-1. Going to Johnson. Johnson, the eighth batter for, for the Bulldogs. I think so. Drops the curveball in for strike two. Two two. Two two. This this will be a big out for the Bobcats to start, you know. Yeah, so far in each inning they've not gotten the first out. And actually the first runner scored twice. That's usually what happens. That's what I was saying earlier. You get that. First base runner on, it's not as tough. Well, here's the payoff then, Seth. Full count. Johnson's waiting on it. Cox is ready to deliver. Curveball got Big him. Out. Big out. And I'll applaud him. That's the first strikeout for Hazard tonight. First batting strikeout. So I just can't say enough about this Hazard team. Solid, solid. I was looking at some of their schedule. Scored a lot of runs. I see a lot of double-digit wins in the in the resume. And they're a solid team. I mean, it. I know. I see they had a couple losses to Painesville, and it's early. They're they're playing really good baseball tonight. And there's a high pitch to Skyler Cheney. Skyler Cheney's number nine batter. And one out, the bottom of the third. Cuck delivers a curveball right in there. Kirk, he's nice definitely pitch. got his curveball going tonight. Nice that pitch. one dropped right in the strike zone. One and two to Cheney. See what position he plays, Seth? I haven't seen him. He must be in the outfield. I think he's in right field, if I'm not mistaken. I can't see him. Another good curveball. Gets him, tags him. Drops nice. him strike. I don't think he really dropped it, but right. they did it anyway. We'll take it. There's two strikeouts. Back up to uh, Tucker and Aker. It's, I'd rather have two outs than see Tucker and Aker. Than... exactly what I was going to say. I said I'd really enjoy seeing him if I were the Bobcats with two outs instead of the way I've seen him in the last two innings. It's two he, two. he has put a hurting on the Bobcats. I ain't keeping up with the stats, but I do know he's two for two. He absolutely is. The first inning, he had a, uh, well, both innings. He was the one that singled on similar hits Very to left field between the third and Shortstop. And he gets into one to right field. Looks like it's going to tail foul. When Tucker was in Little League, uh, we played down there in Corbin. And I think in that tournament, I think he hit three or four home runs in like two games. Like he's he's been really good all the way through. <laughs> I love Seth. He's like, I don't know stats, but here's a crap ton yeah. of stats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, all I know he's hit three or four more than I have in my career, so that's pretty solid to me. And he's much younger than I am. Here comes Cox throws an inside fastball, go 0 and 2. What a speech. A huge momentum right here. If they can get out of this inning, three up, three down. Might bring some life into these bobcats. The curveball, he reaches out, taps it in the center, and Stacy decides not to jump at it. What a Probably a good hit. play. If he did, he would have had to make a miraculous play there to grab that, and that would have been extra bases. So just to play it safe. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get my mouth about that again. Good piece of hitting there. That was a really. Yeah, uh, Matt, you're officially off the microphone now. Unless you're a Hazard fan, and of course they want you to talk every at bat. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, here's Trace Kincaid, his third at bat. Been on base and scored both times tonight. Trace, uh, what, one for one. Uh, he was. He, he walked. walked he first, walked once, so and he's he one for one. he walked once, and then he got a hit to center. The walks don't count. So, thank you. No, I just said he scored twice. Mm -hmm. Scored twice. And there's a good shot to left. Let's see if Chris can get to it. It's going to be close, and he does. Trailed it in, made a great play. It was tailing away from him. Good hit by Kincaid. Kincaid always was really good on that 
opposite opposite side. So the Bobcats settle in and, and give up nothing in that inning. So we're going to take a break and we're going to go to the top of the fourth. Here we are in Hazard with the Bulldogs ahead, six to two. This is Bluegrass Sports Nation. Go Time is a locally owned and operated convenience store that has all your wants and needs in one stop. We have everything from quick snacks and cool drinks, a full service deli, fresh coffee bar, soft serve ice cream, and milkshakes. Also, make sure to check out our Little Caesars pizzas. Go Time, where the customer always comes first. Refill your tank, refill your cup, and refresh your taste buds all in one stop at Go Time. Kentucky Farm Bureau agents wear a lot of hats. They're coaches, volunteers, church members, neighbors, someone who's there when you need them, especially when you need them most. That may be a lot of hats, but they're all the perfect fit. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. YPK Motorsports is excited to help you experience the fun and adventure a quality Yamaha, Polaris, or Kawasaki vehicle can bring to your life. Now with four locations, YPK invites you to see our great selection of ATVs, side-by-sides, dirt bikes, and more. Come visit us in Jackson, Hazard, or Paintsville, or online at ypkmotorsports.com. Well, welcome back once again, folks. This is the top of the fourth. In a real battle here between the Hazard Bulldogs and the Breathy County Bobcats in Hazard, Kentucky tonight in this, once again, all A first round tournament game. A lot of, uh, this is Reese Cox up. He's the starting pitcher and that's a tough, nope. He got right under it and got it. That was a great play there by okay. Who was that? Trace Kincaid. Oh, Trace playing short tonight. Once again, the old man's voice is good, but his eyes are not. Great play by Kincaid. Drifted back into the short left and put Mr. Cox back to the dugouts. So one quick out here for the Bobcats in the top of the fourth. And here's Eli Crisp. Eli, once again, Seth made a great play there to end the inning against the Bulldogs, actually Kincaid, the one that just made that out. The ball trailing away from him in left field and made a great play to end, the, end everything for that inning. 1-1, one, one. evened it up right there. The umpire's consistently like, he blocks that high pitch, but. There's a curve ball snuck in there for strike number two. Looks like Napier settled in a little bit. He gonna had a shaky inning there last inning. Got seemed like he was overthrowing a little bit. But he settled back in after the break between innings and got it in at bat and had a nice hit. He came back firing, and there the umpire got to eat one off the chin. Mm. I think the Bobcats are saying that's what you get when you call bad calls. But he's done a good job tonight. I got to give him that. We're gonna give him a little second. That does hit. hurt. I can. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is one of the main things you can ask for out of an up, you know, just be fair, be consistent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, if you're going to call a high strike at the first inning, make sure it's the same thing. And see it. We've watched a lot of baseball this spring and uh, so far by, I not seen very many pitches that I would have said, Oh no, you missed that one. Mm -hmm. Done a pretty good job. That plate, the plate was a little close in the last inning, but uh, once again, we're a little far away and I can't see. So. So now after getting mule kicked in the chin by baseball, we're ready to go again, looks like. Napier starting his fourth inning of pitching. Bobcats really need a hit. 67 right pitches now that I've been informed that that's on the scoreboard. Makes me look like I know what I'm doing. That's number 68 for Mr. Napier. Or, yeah. and that's what you really want to do is run that pitch. You want to run that pitch count up, especially he's been cruising along. One, two, here comes Tucker, curveball, well, I thought that was in, but once again, Mr. Umpire said not this time, and 2-2, two -two, full curve, evens the count up. Looks like one quick out in the top of the fourth here for the Bobcats, and Crisp is the second batter of the inning. A little bit high, runs it full. High and inside due to the fact that he leaned back. 
We'll spread out and protect the plate here. Fastball popped up. Go down there. Over to the left to the third baseman. Josh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Mr. Logan. I should have called you that. I got you next time. Great play by Cage Logan. Get under that one and put it out. Here's Kobe Bird with two outs to the Bobcats in the top of the fourth. Bird second bat. Last time he struck out, Chris did too, so they at least got a bat on the ball this last inning. I'll tell you a story and I'll tell everybody while we're doing, watching this is Kobe Bird's at bat, two outs. This is the first time I've kept score of a baseball game in years. And when I was a young man, a long time ago, we did have pins and my parents owned a sporting goods store in Jackson. There's ball two to Bird. And I took home a baseball scoring book. And back in those days, the only team we could watch on WTBS was the Atlanta Braves. Good strike there by Napier. 2-1 count. And I took that scoring book home, and I scored the first 27 Atlanta Braves games watching them on TV. Wow. And that's where I learned to score, do a scorecard on baseball. Well, you had plenty of practice. And I'm going to get all kinds of emails about that. Call me a nerd and a weirdo and all that stuff. And I probably was, but uh, it was fun. All right. 3-1 count to Bird. I knew he'd throw a strike in there. 3-1. Bird was taking the whole way and runs it full. Two outs. Full count to Bird. Bobcat's trying to start something here in the top of the fourth. But Hazard says no. And there's a strike. Three. Bird disagrees, but... He's not the boss. And so Napier comes back after a shaky second and, or third and has a great top of the fourth, getting one, two, three of the Bobcats out as we go to a break here in the middle of the fourth. It's Hazard Six, Bobcats Two. You're listening to Bluegrass Sports Nation. And more than just a student. I am motivated. I am retired. I am a grandmother. I am a veteran. I am an entrepreneur. I am a son. I am a small business owner. I am HCTC. Jackson Physical Therapy is your locally owned and operated physical therapy clinic serving Jackson and the surrounding areas. Owned by Colby Watts, Jackson Physical Therapy has a talented and experienced staff ready to meet all your physical therapy needs. Jackson Physical Therapy is a proud supporter of our local youth sports teams. Call JPT at 666-9293 to schedule your appointment today and let us improve your quality of life. Jackson Electric and Plumbing Supply in Jackson, Kentucky is proud to serve Breathitt, Lee, Wolf, Morgan, Owsley, Perry, and Madison Counties. Established in 1982 with over 40 years of service to those communities, Jackson Electric and Plumbing Supply can not only meet your electric and plumbing needs, but also heating and cooling, concrete and metal septic tanks, as well as your special orders. Call Scott and the gang today at 606-666-4052. Welcome back, folks. Welcome to Hazard, Kentucky. If you're just joining us, bottom of the fourth, we're watching the Breathy County Bobcats face the Hazard Bulldogs. We got a score update from the softball game. Well, take a moment. As soon as he says that, there's a high pop fly to first base, and Robbie Turner steps out of out of bounds and puts him down for the first. That was uh, Cage Logan. That's a big out. That was a, that's that's a third big. third place batter for the Bulldogs and to get him out, he's had a good night too already. And so that's a good start for them. And here comes Talon Goins. As he comes up, Matt, he's gonna give us an update on the softball game. And right now is a hazard at bat. Is it the bottom of the six? They have a runner on second. It's still zero, zero on top of the hill. So the girls are tied at zeros. Well, if you heard us the last time, the girls are playing softball. Some defense Up again. on the hill. And the boys are playing baseball down on the middle side of the hill. So we're all up in the holler here in Perry County, Kentucky. Goins looks and Ooh, that looks takes, nice. Takes the ball. So says the boss behind the plate. Was it one one? One one. Goins has had a good night so far. He hit a big shot as a triple. 
yep. in the first inning to really uh, get the Bulldogs going tonight and then had a single in the second inning. So here he is in the fourth. See if he's going to keep it up. 2-2 two -two for the night. You know, Reese really came in and he pitched really well. Done a good job so far. I don't. Has he given up a hit at all? Yeah, he he's gave up a hit, but not a run. Like I think uh, he gave up one, maybe two hits. He might have gave. He, he actually gave up one to Goins, I think. There in the second. Paid. So there's a dribbler to dribbler to, to uh, Cox, and he throws him out. Pitcher to first. So there's two down quickly here in the top of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth, sorry. And here comes Max Pelfrey. He said, I'm going to change that right now. Two outs. Got to remember to score my card. Now, Max plays quarterback Three. in football. He's he's not your typical quarterback. You can look at it. He's a big, brutish guy and can run the ball, throw it. I wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alley. <laughs> No, Maxie, one of those guys. Yeah, if you get in the backfield, you uh, you're gonna just push him over. You better be here to get a hold of him. Yep. He's really. So you start off with the ball. Here comes Cox with the second pitch, and there's one right back up the middle. Dylan Stacy picks it up in center after he bobbled it a little bit, but he got it back in. And good shot right up the middle there by Max Pelfrey. Max got some speed too. I mean. I wouldn't be surprised they send, the send him. Two, Clint, I mean, you got two outs. It's so here's the catcher, Clint Davidson, coming up. Clint, uh, so far tonight, has uh, I think he bunted. Ground, he, he bunted and got thrown out and then had a pop fly to short. So he's looking for his first hit. And as so we said, he's got Pelfrey on first, the fleet of feet quarterback for the football team. They're keeping their eye on him there. Sometimes those muscles, even though you got all those muscles, they, that just means they push you faster. It's in his case, because he looks like he can fly. There's Davidson right back to Cox. Nice easy throw to first and gets himself out of the inning. Nice. That was a nice part. Walks off the field like it was nothing. That would have put a <laughs> hole in my glove. All right, the Bobcats uh, hold, the, hold the Bulldogs down in there in the bottom of the fourth, and we'll go to the top of the fifth as we take a break. Your score here at Hazard, six to two Bulldogs. We'll see you in just a second. This is Bluegrass Sports Nation. Variety Pizza, located at 1189 Main Street in Jackson, has been family owned. Carry out or stay and enjoy the newly renovated dining areas with private party spaces available. Stop by and see Lee and Al or call 666-5454 for Variety Pizza. Family and hometown pharmacies have been serving Breathitt County for over 20 years and are proud to support our local athletes. They are hometown owned and operated by Portia and Everett Dunaway. Portia and Everett want you to know that family and hometown pharmacies are here for you. Now offering two ways to fill your prescriptions. Use the Refill Quick app on your smartphone or give them a call at 666-5519 or 666-5500. Basketball fans know December is the start of the holiday season. A four-month round ball holiday running all winter right through March. And at Rose Brothers, we're happy to help Bluegrass Sports Nation bring great high school action to you each week. And when your athletes need basketball shoes or when you need warm weather gear to get through the winter, come see us at Rose Brothers. We have performance athletic footwear from Nike, Under Armour, and Skechers and great outerwear from Columbia, Simply Southern, and Under Armour. Now let's cheer on our young athletes and good luck from all of us at Rose Brothers in Jackson and Batable. Folks, we're back here in Hazard, Kentucky at the All-A Boys First Round Baseball Tournament. Hazard Bulldogs and Breath of Bounty Bobcats. The Bulldogs have the advantage, six to two. Top of the fifth. We've got three more bats here for the Bobcats. See if they can come back, get a little bit closer like they did the inning before. Napier's this, pushing almost 80 pitches here. Napier's pitched a great game so far. He's the MVP in my book. Um, only giving up a few hits, two runs. And oh. And center fielder Dylan Stacy pops one up into, uh oh, that was close. Who caught that? Kincaid, the shortstop, caught it. Looked like left fielder said, I wanted that one, and he said, I got it. <laughs> so Aikman caught. Still, Trace made a great play there. One quick out for the Bobcats. 
So back to the top of the lineup here in the top of the fifth, there's Isaac Bellamy, second at bat. Popped out to the shortstop first time and had a good, uh, hit a single to center. Quick ball, one nothing. It's a quick update on the softball game from the breath at Hazard up on the hill above us. Looks like Hazard on a, has taken the lead two to nothing. Not sure what inning it is, but we'll try to give you an update on the score every time we go away to break. Still bottom of the six, two to nothing Hazard. So that's why Matt's the best man in the world for that ask and you shall receive. Nice. Yeah. There's Bellamy, hits one, hits it right at the right field. Wow. And great play that is. Who is that, Seth? Can you see it? Num That's uh, Skylar Chaney. Yep. Chaney, great play. That was. That was a great hit. Tough, tough luck on Bellamy's part. Great. He smokes that close ball. to him. If it would have been just a few feet to the right, that would have been trouble. Yes. Great play by Chaney in catching that ball. Yeah, like I said, there's a rope from, uh, from Bellamy, but Chaney, instant reaction, was able to get over there. Yep. All right, two quick outs. This is they're making it easy on Napier. 81 pitches. Here's the big catcher for the Bobcats, Mr. Brady Tincher. They're telling the fans, tell him to wait on it. He'll wait on it. He waited on that one in his ball. Two balls, no strikes. Two outs, top of the fifth. It looks like Napier's going to give him much really good to look at here with no. the bases empty. No, he hit a couple shots foul there last time at bat. I'm sure he won't get too much down the middle. And there's one, though, at least a little bit low. Yeah, he likes one. that. Tincher likes that outside of the plate. Now, he went right field down there in Harrison County. I thought, I thought that ball was gone. Let's we'll see what he does here and see if he stays away. A little he's, bit low. He's staying away. He, don't, he ain't going to bring it inside. Tincher is a 3-1. I noticed one thing, Seth. Give me some insight on that. You know more baseball than I do. Uh, Napier, he's going from a stretch. You just notice that? He's not winding up. He's kind of stretching. It just, and I've seen that, but I just. It, it's just whatever's comfortable uh, to a pitcher. And and some pitchers really think they. Well, and there's Tincher hits oh. it again right to the left fielder, and that left fielder is. I like to give him kudos, and I can't see, and I apologize. I can't tell. We'll figure that out when we come that back. Goings or Goings, maybe. <laughs> but uh, great play. Tincher hits it right to him. So three up, three down for the Bobcats in the top of the fifth. We'll take a quick break as Hazard gets ready to come out in the bottom. This is Bluegrass Sports Nation. PDQ Sales and Services, formerly known as Jackson Wholesale Company, is a locally owned and operated convenience store and grocery store supplier with a full line of products. They have ice cream, groceries, meat, dairy, candy, and more. They even have janitorial supplies including Tactical Strike Disinfectant. Tactical Strike has been approved by the EPA to kill the virus that causes COVID-19. Give PDQ a call today at 606-666-2495. Since 1962, Citizens Bank and Trust of Jackson has been proud to serve the community. They care about the people of Breathitt County and are the only locally owned bank in the community. With two branches in Jackson and one in Beattyville, they're never too far away when you need them. And with the latest innovations in banking, keeping track of your finances has never been easier. Helping to grow Breathitt County as leaders for over 60 years. That's Citizens Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. During a loss, we realize that your loved one is your most valuable possession. At Breath at Funeral Home, we consider it an honor to serve your family. We've recently made some big changes, but not only to the building. We have lowered our prices to what we believe are the lowest in Breath at County. We offer payment plans for prearranged funerals, and we will honor prearrangements from any other funeral home. Breath at Funeral Home, premium service at an affordable price, when only the best will do. Welcome back, folks. You're just a few seconds late to get a good dose of country music trivia. Here in Hazard, Kentucky tonight, we're talking about the great Glenn Campbell, the late great Glenn Campbell, playing in the background as we switch innings. Looks like the Hazard Bulldogs are ready here in the bottom of the fifth. It's a nice 6-2 lead. And Mr. Evan Aikman, the number seven hitter, stepping up to the plate. He's reached base on an error this game so far. 
Well, guys, the sun is down again for the second time today. It's getting dark, lights are on, and that means we're getting late in the innings and the Bobcats better be getting some plays here. And there's one to bash Howard at third and throws over to first. Wild pitch, a little bit, or wild throw, a little bit. Off, Goins is going to second, or not Goins, but Aikman, sorry. Aikman to second, and he's in safe. And a tough throw from third. Give that E5. Thought he had that one. Usually, Bash is pretty sure handed. Just kind of rusted a little bit. It happens. I think he rusts a little bit. So he can set his feet. Is kids pretty fast, so he was. So ironically, that is twice that he has reached Aikman's reach on the air tonight. All right, here's uh, Isaiah Johnson, the second baseman. He's showing. He's going. They're trying to move this guy to third. If you're getting ready to see a dose of fundamental baseball. We're going to move this runner to, to third and sacrifice an out to get him closer to the plate. And that's what the goal of this game is, folks. If you're just watching your first baseball game ever, score. I'm doubting you're watching your first baseball game if you're watching this baseball game, but you never know. You got to play the whole crowd, Matt. Mm -hmm. We well, bunted that one off the plate, so Coach is like, okay, we got to do something a little different. So he's going to have a little powwow. Once again, we're at the in the bottom of the fifth. This is what has beautiful has for Kentucky. You know, in the past they've they're a really good small ball team. Isaiah Johnson, second baseman, stepping up. One out or no outs? I'm sorry, no outs. Runner on second already in this inning. Bellamy's back and forth trying to hold him. Bunts again, bunts foul. So he's probably going to swing here. Uh, unless unless they have real confidence, because ladies and gentlemen, those of you that don't know, if you have two strikes on you and you try to bunt and it goes foul, that is a strikeout. So we'll see if Coach Varney has a lot of confidence in Johnson here to try to bunt again, or if he lets him swing away. 0-2 count, so he's going to have to protect a little bit. No outs. Bottom of the fifth. Reese Cox is your pitcher, came in in relief in the second inning and has done a great job so far. Held the Bulldogs right where they started when he came in. A little bit high, wasted one there, one, two. Bobcats really need this out right here. And Hazard desperately needs to move him to third. I'm going to play the other side there for you, Seth. we got to be right in the middle of the road. I'm bragging on Hazard's pretty gold helmets. I like them. Got a little old school unis. Got a little bit of my son. I'm sure is happy with their uniforms up here because he's got those high legging old school baseball pants. He's got a foul tip, and that'll be third strike from Mr. Nice Mr. Pitch. Johnson. Good pitch. Good job, uh, Tincher, to hold on the ball. Mm -hmm. So that's the first out. That's one out so far, and here comes Skyler Cheney. So far, Cheney's grounded out to third and struck out. So he's looking to get going here. He's the ninth batter for Hazard. He made some big plays in the field. Well, here's his chance. He's got a runner at second. Good base hit might score him from second, which is Aikman. Reese Cox delivers, and there's Aikman. your small ball, kids. Great. Man. Pulls the third baseman over, and even better, he outruns the play to first. So I don't nope. think that was his first rodeo. No, it was not. Great play there by Scaler Chain. I'm giving him a hit, boys. Giving him a hit. Move Mr. Move Mr. Aikman to third. You got Mr. Tucker Napier out. I don't think we've got him out all game. We have not. He's he has singled all three times. He's he batted the first three innings. And Breathy County settled in, getting a little bit anxious here in the bottom of the fifth. But I would be too with the MVP of the game so far coming to the plate. I'm curious to see how much Seth they let him pitch. He's at 85 pitches. Napier is mm -hmm. the batter, and uh, he may get one more in. And he's been pretty good tonight. They may give him one more. This is a big game. They need to win this. So, so Napier settles in. Look over to first. 
Cone for a balk. I didn't see anything, so I'm not going to say anything. Check there. We're going to have we're going to have an umpire powwow here. Anybody see what's going on here? I did not. I don't think. Some of the fans called for a balk a little bit, so maybe they're going to talk that over and kind of keep an eye on it and I don't think double check their, and make sure that their call the home umpire. But let's does the home umpire call that balk usually? No, he does not. No, it's usually the second baseman. Yeah, he's he's there looking at it. You can. And the second baseman said nope, and so we're going on. No count so far here, Napier. Tucker Napier, the pitcher for the Bulldogs, and done a great job tonight. Curveball into the dirt. There go, there goes Cheney going to second on it. One in the dirt. Yeah, two in scoring position. A hit may score two here. Kids, if you're at home watching, Skylar Cheney bunted to get on first. Really was tr just trying to sacrifice and hustled down to first, got on base. Now he's stolen the base. Now he's in the run. And there's a pitch in the dirt. Wow. It's by Tincher, and that's going to score it. All right. That's the seventh run for the Bulldogs here tonight. 7 2. That one hit just a little bit in front of the plate and just got by tensure not much he could do with that combs is not happy and he is walking over the end of the infield it looks like he's pointing at a lot of people but i'm assuming oh i see what he's doing he's pointing at everybody there seth but it looks like he's bringing in eli crisp from left field he's going to put tensure the catcher in the left field mm -hmm. and then or at uh, and then going to put robbie from first a catcher to catch her Y'all got that? Mm hmm <laughs> So you're going to take a break, Matt, during yep. this? All right. You're tired of listening to us? Take a break for a second. Here we are in the bottom of the fifth, and breath it moving all their players around. We'll take a quick break. This is Bluegrass Sports Nation. During a loss, we realize that your loved one is your most valuable possession. At Breath It Funeral Home, we consider it an honor to serve your family. We've recently made some big changes, but not only to the building. We have lowered our prices to what we believe are the lowest in Breathitt County. We offer payment plans for prearranged funerals, and we will honor prearrangements from any other funeral home. Breathitt Funeral Home, premium service at an affordable price, when only the best will do. Come see us at Jackson Medical Clinic Family Healthcare in Jackson for all your medical needs. Now also offering behavioral healthcare services, the clinic is open seven days a week and will have new extended hours of operation beginning on January 1st, 2024. Hours of operation will be from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Thursday and 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. With a hometown atmosphere, come let our family take care of yours. What keeps you going? Your love for the game? Your teammates? A victory? At ARH Orthopedics, our goal is to keep you pain-free so your body can keep going. There's no time for discomfort in your joints or ligaments caused by an injury. ARH Orthopedic providers specialize in treatment plans from non-surgical and surgical options so your care is entirely centered around you. Visit ARH.org slash ortho to find an orthopedic provider near you. ARH. More for Appalachia. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are here and having a big reset. We are in Hazard, Kentucky tonight, the bottom of the fifth in the boys 14th region all a baseball tournament. If you're just coming, join us. And the Hazard Bulldogs have come to play tonight and have seven runs on the scoreboard. The Bobcats have two. The bottom of the fifth, the leadoff hitter, Tucker Napier, who's been on base every time tonight. This is his fourth at bat. He's coming to meet new pitcher, Kyle Crisp. Reaches out and looks like right to the, the second baseman. Time. Good play. Chris, Aiden. first pitch goes to the second baseman. Aiden Combs and he grabs him for an out. Two outs. That leaves Cheney at third. 
So with two outs, here comes the second hitter in the shortstop, Trace Kincaid. The freshman, Trace Kincaid. Chris bringing the heat, good pitch, just a bit outside. So to kind of reset what happened, Reese Cox came in in the second inning, gave the Cats some good innings and gave up a run there and had a couple runners on base, threw a wild pitch, and Coach said, "That's let's, let's spread it out a little bit. And there's Chris, second pitch, strike two, strike, strike one, strike one, 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 Kincaid. So we had musical chairs. The catcher went to left, left came to pitch, first went to catch and the pitcher went to first if you got that you're better than me i had to look it over real quick to see what happened twice you sound like you knew what you were saying though pretty quick so no, this is my first rodeo <laughs> well at least watching sports at least it's my first rodeo calling the baseball game and i hope you guys are entertained at least a little bit and we'll continue to get better and better as we bring you baseball here on bluegrass sports nation this year this is our first game and a great game to start with Looks like King K pops it up in left field, and the fans are scattering, running from it like it's a, it's on fire. But it wasn't. But it would hurt if it hits you. I promise you that. <laughs> two two to King Two outs. Bottom of the fifth. Pivotal moment. Bobcats have given up one this inning. Do not need to give up two. Eli Crisp on the mound. Sophomore. Am I right? Yep. Kincaid hits one, and it's a tough play. It's going to be called off by left fielder. Tincher called him off. Good job by Bellamy to get out of the way whenever he called him. So that was the third out. Kincaid pops out to left field, and that'll end the inning. We'll go to the top of the sixth. Two more chances for the Bobcats to get into this thing. We'll see what they do when we come back. This is Bluegrass Sports Nation. Go Time is a locally owned and operated convenience store that has all your wants and needs in one stop. We have everything from quick snacks and cool drinks, a full service deli, fresh coffee bar, soft serve ice cream, and milkshakes. Also, make sure to check out our Little Caesars pizzas. Go Time, where the customer always comes first. Refill your tank, refill your cup, and refresh your taste buds all in one stop at Go Time. Kentucky Farm Bureau agents wear a lot of hats. There are coaches, volunteers, church members, neighbors, someone who's there when you need them, especially when you need them most. That may be a lot of hats, but they're all the perfect fit. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. YPK Motorsports is excited to help you experience the fun and adventure a quality Yamaha, Polaris, or Kawasaki vehicle can bring to your life. Now with four locations, YPK invites you to see our great selection of ATVs, side-by-sides, dirt bikes, and more. Come visit us in Jackson, Hazard or Paintsville, or online at ypkmotorsports.com. All right, guys, girls, kids, and adults, we're back. Here we are in the top of the six. I've changed positions. I'm going to stand up a little bit because I'm numb, and I'm afraid I'm going to have to get somebody to carry me out when we leave. Hope I'm out of Seth's way so we can see, and me and Matt are standing way too close for comfort to each other. I won't budge. We'll be okay. It's not what I'm worried about. <laughs> All right, here comes the Bobcats. Again, top of the six. They're down 7-2. Need some runs, and... Big Brady, is it Big Brady? No, nope. no, I can't see. Robbie. That's Robbie Turner. Robbie started the game pitching, had a great weekend pitching, and just kind of struggled tonight. Got got off on the wrong foot, and we keep forgetting these kids are 17, 18 years old. Man, they just get a little bit of uh, a little bit of trouble, a little bit of of uh, what's my word I'm looking for? Somebody help me. Adversity. A little bit of adversity in front of them. Thank you, sir. That's why you're the man. Trying to see how they react, and tonight he didn't react. But it's a good learning experience for Robbie. He good is. kid, super good kid. Again, we know these breathy kids. We're Seth and I are both from Jackson. Hopefully, we're trying to keep it down the middle. There's a strike. I would have said, but uh, looks like a ball based on the umpire. Two two, two two. But uh, Robbie's a real good kid. All, a lot of these, most of these breathy kids are, that we can vouch for, they're all good kids. Uh, we just went to Florida. I know they just went to Florida and did 
weekend, and there's a foul ball towards us, and I'm grunting because I'm looking backwards, making sure it doesn't hit me on top of the head. It does not, but we just uh, took these kids to Florida, and they played a lot of good baseball down there. And uh, it's a lot of never, good teams. Never had any trouble out of them. They were all no. in the rooms when they needed to be. Just want to brag on them a little bit for that. Ooh. There's one at the there's one at the shins, which is the strike zone. Looks like tonight. So uh, mm -hmm. Robbie's going back to the dugout with the K. Now back up to ninety. There's one out for Robbie. And listen, Napier is once again. And he's still. I mean, he's still bringing it. Napier is really bringing. That looked like the first pitch he threw. Tonight. It, it really did. So one out for the Bobcats, and here is Bash Howard. So we've got one out. Bash up, up high and inside, outside the bash. Somehow, I'm a... oh, I keep laughing, folks. I wish you could see my scorecard. I might show you here in a few minutes, so you'll take pity on me that I'm actually keeping it up. Good curveball, just outside. So bash is 2-0. Well, Napier pitch is smarter. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna. Yeah, he, Bash wants it. He's gonna have to reach for it. Well, Bash, Bash had a really big yeah, hit back in the third inning. Bash uh, put one way too far away for his likings, and he hits that one. But that one's right at the right fielder, and he moves over and grabs it. Great job there, by that was remind me again, Seth. That was Cheney, right? Cheney, yeah. Cheney. Thank you. See, I'm learning. They were really playing him because you can tell. The right fielder, how far didn't have over? To move, right. yeah. Didn't have to move much. Mm -hmm. Had him shadowed there to the left, to they towards the left, right center. I think Tucker was pitching him. All right, here's Aiden Combs up. Two outs for the Bobcats, and it's this, this is go time. Theoretically, four more batters left if they don't get any hits, and we've got to make something happen if you're the Bobcats. Aiden Combs, just an eighth grader. We've seen this kid play before. I'll tell you this. He, both Seth and I's sons played with him when they were younger and travel ball. And he's always been a great baseball player. Oh, phenomenal. He's a great golfer. Great golfer, too. Listen. Great basketball player. He's just a really good athlete. Yeah. Great parents, uh, Glenn and Teresa Combs. Good people. Went to school with both of them. Just a just all, good all-around kid. Here's the pitch from Napier. Combs hits it just short. He's quick, but not quick enough. Great play by Ken Gade and throws him out it. So three up, three down for the Bulldogs. Top of the sixth. Leaves breath it down their last three at bats. As we go to break here in the middle of the sixth, score is 7-2. Hazard. This is Kentucky Blue Farm Bureau agents wear a lot of hats. They're coaches. Volunteers church members, neighbors, someone who's there when you need them, especially when you need them most. That may be a lot of hats, but they're all the perfect fit. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. YPK Motorsports is excited to help you experience the fun and adventure a quality Yamaha, Polaris, or Kawasaki vehicle can bring to your life. Now with four locations, YPK invites you to see our great selection of ATVs, side-by-sides, dirt bikes, and more. Come visit us in Jackson, Hazard or Paintsville, or online at ypkmotorsports.com. At HCTC, you're more than just a student. I am motivated. I am retired. I am a grandmother. I am a veteran. I am an entrepreneur. I am a son. I am a small business owner. I am HCTC. Welcome back, everybody. Good. Bottom of the sixth. It's Hazard, good. Kentucky. I've said it almost every time. Just want to make sure you know where we are. We're here. The boys high school baseball all a first round game between the Hazard Bulldogs and Breathitt County Bobcats. Hazard with the advantage of seven to two. It's bottom of six, looking for some insurance here. And here comes here comes Gage Logan, the third third place hitter for the Bulldogs. 
I'm trying to see if I could read my writing. I've got to get better at this. I've got to get a pencil, Matt. <clears throat> Can't do it with the pen, but I'll do what I can do. But here's Gage Logan. You make a list, and I'll uh, have a kit ready. Oh, don't worry. I think last about Gage uh, popped out, didn't he? You are correct. Popped out the short or the uh, second. But in the first and second inning, he still can't read. It looks like he scored on a fielder's choice and then got a walk in the second inning. Didn't score in the second, but he scored in the first. Well, when you get seven runs, there's, your score sheet's going to look a little crazy, especially if you haven't done it in a while. There's a the foul ball. We're going to duck and cover for that one. Mm -hmm. We got some uh, cars that sitting in the road back here from the softball game watching the baseball game. Yeah, I love a few more of those foul balls, they may move. It's kind of like the <laughs> kind of like the post office in Jackson. Uh, everybody likes to park in the no parking signs. <laughs> if that's one of, if you're one of those people, stop. There's a pop foul. Move down. The, look out. Oh, yes, man. You should have turned the camera around and got that. <laughs> wow, that'll get him now. Yeah. Now the truck, the truck, the foul ball almost hit the truck going down the road from the softball game. And now he's going way too fast getting out of here since he just saved a nice big fat dent in the hood of his truck. Ooh, it's All right. Play. There's a tough paint. Logan hits it to short. Bellamy up and got fires. Him. Got him by wow. half a step. That's way to read that ball. It was a great you know, job by Bellamy. He's a veteran. Tricky. Going. Bellamy's the, the veteran of this group. Playing short. Played a lot of baseball in his life. And we're in the heart of the lineup here with the fourth batter, Talon Goins. Talon with the, probably the shot of the night. Well, for the, definitely for Hazard, the shot of the night. Yeah. Got a triple in the first inning. It really got them off on the right foot. And uh, started that big inning, the first inning where they scored four runs and kind of got the game started the way they wanted it to. Eli Crisp on the mound for the Cats and throws that one in for a strike, a little curveball. I guess he wasn't looking for that in the first pitch, but 0-1 uh, oh one, with one out. Bottom of the six. Hazard with a comfortable 7-2 lead. There's one on the ground. Trying to get him to chase one, 1-1. One, one. We keep looking for some people around here to kind of spice this up. I know you're getting bored talking to me. Seth didn't talk enough to, for you to really enjoy it and all his knowledge. There's a little foul shot. One, two for going. And uh, we have a couple people picked out for interviews, but uh, they've seen, I think they knew it, and they've hidden on us. I've been searching for them, but I'll find them and maybe bring some lively interviews to you guys at home. Good stop there by Turner. Ball on the ground. 2-2. Two -two. Brett's had a couple pass balls and wild pitches tonight. It's kind of hurt him. A couple runs scored on, on a couple balls that got away from the catcher. Something you just got to tighten up. There you go. Hit going, hits it to Combs at second. Combs over to first and gets him out for the second out of the inning. Good play by Combs, the eighth grader there playing second base. Max. It's a nice play. Nice play. And here's big, thick Max Pelfrey. who commented a couple times about how he's the football player and the real good athlete for this team on multiple, multiple sports. Right. Speaking of multiple sports, we mentioned it a little bit when we were talking about Combs. These two teams are rivals in not just baseball, not just football, about ever, but on the golf course. Yeah. Now, I've witnessed that. I've had kids that played golf through the golf world and – there's definitely a rivalry, a healthy rivalry between the two teams. Yeah. Just noticing over here in the stands, it looks like Wolf County baseball is here tonight. This is who scouted the game. Oh, yeah, they, that's who they they take on the winners, correct? Is mm -hmm. it Wednesday? Wednesday. Wednesday? Mm -hmm. The winner uh, said uh, if Hazard wins, they'll take on Hazard here on Wednesday night. If Brett wins, they'll go to Brett. There we go. How do they determine where it's hosted at, because didn't Hazard host it last year? I'm not sure on that one. Um, that does uh, say that bunch of conversations around the All-A about seating and home yeah. field advantage. It's uh, mm -hmm. kind of, I said it's a controversial topic. Well, it should be, it sounds like it. It should be like a neutral thing. All right, here's Eli Crisp. Like I said, this is Breath's third pitcher. Not happy with that call, 3-1. 
Now, see, the opening rounds are home and away, but then there is a central location once the tournament is uh, down to the finals. Okay. How many teams, how many teams are there in all of it, or in the I bracket for this re region? Six or seven? I think there's seven. seven. Yeah. Just and uh, the final four for the for the boys, I'm thinking, is, is it Wolf County for the boys and then Alzey County for the girls? I rely on you. I'm not sure on that one this year. I'm sure on the Alzey card. Okay. I'm not sure about that. I think it's weird. All right. Pelfrey knocks one into right field and coming in quick is Adam Spencer with a diving catch. Kind of misread it and made up for it at the last second and made a great catch there for the third out in right field. So the Bobcats get away here in the bottom of the six with no runs. We'll go to break, and here we come. This is Bobcats last chance, down seven to two against the Hazard Bulldogs. This is Bluegrass Sports Nation. Since 1962, Citizens Bank and Trust of Jackson has been proud to serve the community. They care about the people of Breathitt County and are the only locally owned bank in the community. With two branches in Jackson and one in Beattyville, they're never too far away when you need them. And with the latest innovations in banking, keeping track of your finances has never been easier. Helping to grow Breathitt County as leaders for over 60 years. That's Citizens Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. During a loss, we realize that your loved one is your most valuable possession. At Breath at Funeral Home, we consider it an honor to serve your family. We've recently made some big changes, but not only to the building. We have lowered our prices to what we believe are the lowest in Breath at County. We offer payment plans for prearranged funerals, and we will honor prearrangements from any other funeral home. Breath at Funeral Home, premium service at an affordable price, when only the best will do. Come see us at Jackson Medical Clinic Family Healthcare in Jackson for all your medical needs. Now also offering behavioral healthcare services. The clinic is open seven days a week and will have new extended hours of operation beginning on January 1st, 2024. Hours of operation will be from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Thursday and 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. With a hometown atmosphere, come let our family take care of yours. All right, guys, here we are back in Hazard, Kentucky for this last seventh inning of the game between the Breath of Bobcats and the Hazard Bulldogs. The winner of this goes on to keep playing in this all-A tournament. And Hazard with a commanding 7-2 to two lead, top of the seventh. This is it. We're down to the last three outs. We've got Reese Cox in, batting for the – and he dribbles one to third. Let's see if he can get to it quick enough. Cox runs and is safe. The ball gets away from the first baseman, but he makes an easy turn and comes back to first. That's a tough play. Logan, that was a, he had to charge that one hard and then make the throw, too. That was a tough play on his part. It was just a hustle play by Cox to get to first. Got so, a, a little bit of life for the Cats here. Bouncers, you, it's almost uh, got to evaluate them, and then we're tough. Then we're tough. All right. Coach Combs looking, he's making some plays here. As Eli Crisp, the pitcher, steps up. If I can get the right score sheet out, that would really help me a lot. Top of the seventh. This is it, like you said. And they're trying to keep, uh, looks like we've got a pitch runner. Who's that running there? It's it? Jack Fugit. Jake Fugit. Seventh grader, Jake Fugit. Let me tell you what, this kid can fly. That's why he's there. Foul ball back behind us. Eli Crisp, one strike. This Bobcat team has a lot of seniors on it. Kind and of good this, mixture. The, well, in the middle classes, there's not a lot of freshmen and sophomores, mm -hmm. uh, juniors. There's a few, but then a lot of seventh and eighth graders. Mm -hmm. So the future's bright for this team. Crisp down early, 0-2. No outs, top of the seventh. We'll go curve. Curve ball right down the middle. I knew that was what was coming. It's, it's one thing, you know, that's, that's one thing these kids, you know, with experience will pick up. You and I have seen that two or three times. We've seen him tonight. We've paid attention. I wish kids would, you know, and I'm not saying that breath it doesn't, but mm -hmm. I wish they'd pay more attention in the dugouts to pitches because we both saw that coming. Mm -hmm. And if Chris would have known that was coming, maybe that would have helped him, but. 
That was a great pitch by Napier, who is really continuing was. to be the I mean, easily up to the most one valuable three, player. Tonight. 103 pitches and still bringing it. Yep. Yeah, I'm not sure how much of the sound's picking up. You know, still the pop in that glove. You mm -hmm. see 103 pitches in. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, in Harrison County, they had that. They had like a uh, that told how fast they threw. That's the first time I'd ever seen that. Like in, like in the press box. I didn't see that. Like it. Surprised they could get away with it, but every pitch you could see how fast it was coming. It was pretty neat. One out. Colby Bird at bat for the Bobcats. Do not want a ground ball in this situation. Young Jake Fugit on first. Pinch hitting for Reese Cox that beat out a tough play to the infield previously. You don't throw many wild pitches either. And there's Bird straight to Trace Kincaid double. and caught him off the bag in a double play. Be ball game. And that's the ball game. That's a tough way to go down for the Bobcats. Great play by Kincaid being aware that Jake came off a little too far and gunned him out at first. And folks, congratulations to the Hazard Bulldogs with their win in the first round of the LA tournament for the boys baseball. Both teams shake hands and uh, Folks, this is, uh, once again, Chuck Price, this is Seth Holland, Matt Hudson on the computer. This is our first rodeo. Hope you all liked it, and uh, we'll be back for more. Looking we'll, forward to the rest of the season. Yeah, I said, uh, yeah, yeah, hopefully you guys come back and help us out for the rest of the season. We really did enjoy y'all. Uh, it was great for y'all coming out and helping. And just stay tuned to uh, BSN on Heads Up on what's coming up. Uh, we didn't know if we were going to get both games on tonight or not, so we didn't actually uh, – put an advertisement out but now that we have kind of the gist of the situation up here we will have the games on wednesday night so it'll be the wolf county lady wolves visiting the lady bulldogs and the wolf county wolves visiting the hazard bulldog so we will have both those games on here in bsn on wednesday well we appreciate it man we had a great time and if the check cashes we'll surely be back i promise we had <laughs> big time watching this baseball so folks thank you again for watching please tune in all the time to bluegrass sports nation your number one source of high school sports in eastern kentucky folks for, for seth Hall, this is chuck price we're going to sign off matt hudson we thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time good night